This week is going to be an incredibly interesting week for Bitcoin because, of course, it is Christmas. And Christmas, typically for Bitcoin, has not really been a very bullish period of the year. It's typically been a very flat period of the year. So things this week, typically on a chart, I mean, they are looking like we are going to have some volatility over the course of this week. We could go as high as kind of like $19,000 or potentially we could go as low as $15,000. In today's video, I'm going to show you the levels of which I'm watching when it comes to trading the price of Bitcoin this week because there is huge potential and huge profits to be made, especially when there are less participants in the market. And we are seeing that right now. Volumes aren't as high as what they were six months ago. Volumes aren't as high as what they were one month ago. Is that a bearish thing? No, it's just the time of the year. You see a lot of people trying to put outside like this fake bearish narrative of all oh, volumes are dropping, therefore the market is more bearish. No, if you see that during a bullish period, yes, when volume starts dropping off, price goes down. But when price is already right at the very bottom, to see more drop off in terms of volume doesn't have a typically very strong correlation with the price going down further. It just doesn't have that. So in today's video, I'm going to show you what I'm thinking in terms of my current open Bitcoin trades and what I intend to do going forward. If you are interested in that, slap a like on today's video. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel, turn on channel notifications, and let's crack straight on. Because first thing in today's video is, look at this. This is Crypto Saving Expert. It's not finished yet. I just thought I'd show you a little bit of what we've got working on uh, at Crypto Saving Expert. I just, for me, what a great, great platform that we're building here. A lot of people asking me, what is the purpose of Crypto Saving Expert? Well, we've got four different sections, Crypto News, Crypto Info, Crypto Learn, and Crypto Coins. These are all going to get renamed before we launch the website, and uh, there's going to be some tweaking and things that go on, of course, like you may see a little bit of a formatting error here. All of this will be fixed by the time the website goes live, but just to give you an idea of what the vibe that we're going for with Crypto Saving Expert, it's good, honestly. It's going to be better than CoinMarketCap. It's going to be better than uh, Cointelegraph, because also bear in mind that all these institutionalized kind of Bitcoin companies have got massive, big suits of investment in them. When I say suits, I mean big VC funds that have invested into them. We don't have any of that. It's all funded by me. Uh, the company doesn't make any money. It costs me an absolute fortune every month to employ everybody to build this thing. Um, but a year in, and we're getting there. It's getting really close. Launch should, in theory, be in January now. Anyway, Bitcoin price. How is Bitcoin getting along right now? Well, Bitcoin, typical bear flag pattern, really doesn't look that great, to be honest, because you've got a very big stalk down here. And then you've got your bear flag flagging outwards, which typically you would expect to break to the downside. Now, there is two different time frames, I think, are, are really contesting each other right now. You've got this one, which is the four hour. On the far hour, we had a bounce at the bottom of the RSI and the MACD has gone bullish again. However, if we then go over to the daily, the daily completely contrasts that by seeing that you can see down here, uh, we have officially kind of ticked bearish down here on the daily chart. It, it doesn't look great, doesn't that? And being that we're at this level of support right here, we stand a high chance at this point in time of losing the level around $16,500 and dropping down. There's two levels of which we can drop down to. There's this first level here, which would make an inverse head and shoulders. That would be around $15,500. Or we've got a further decline to the outside of this level of support, which seems slightly more likely to around $15,000. At the point of $15,000, I will literally sell my Lamborghini and I'm going to buy Bitcoin with the money from that Lamborghini. I'm not going to do it just yet. I'm just holding out in the hope that I don't have to sell it. But in, in the eventuality that I, I if we do hit $15,000, I will literally make a video of me selling my Lamborghini to buy more Bitcoin. That's how confident I am. It's an amazing price to be buying at. We are at or around the bottom right now. If you've not already seen the video that I posted on my main channel yesterday, please go and click it. It'll be on the information button at the top of the screen right here. It's important that you watch that video because that video tells you everything you need to know from my perspective as to why I believe we're somewhere near the bottom on Bitcoin's price. I'm not trying to time the bottom exactly. I'm not interested in timing the bottom exactly. I'm interested in being averaged in somewhere near the bottom in the hope that uh, the next rally up takes as well above $100,000. But anyway, when it comes to my current kind of perspective, do I think that we're going up or do I think we're going down? Well, for that, we need to look at the US dollar currency index. And this is the US dollar currency index right now. It's looking, it's looking like it might cause Bitcoin a little bit of issues, to be honest, because this here is a level of resistance. We know that when the DXY starts going up, we know that Bitcoin typically goes down. So if we break through this level of resistance here and Bitcoin fails at $16,500, 
Uh, we're in for a rough ride over Christmas. It's going to be a bit unfortunate. The tip thing is, though, this is technically now in a very strong downtrend. We've seen this downtrend now occurring since, when is that? Approximately the start of November. So we've been in downtrend essentially since the start of November. My charting so far has paid off, but I've not charted past this point. What I will do throughout the course of the day is do more in research on the DXY, and then I'll update you in a future video about what I'm expecting from the price of the DXY. I can tell you when it comes to overall market sentiment right now, of course, it's not very positive. You have a lot of people footing Binance. You have all of these people that FTX have paid in the past. They're all coming out in support of FTX and it's just becoming very catty and stupid. Uh, the, the IQ is dropping very significantly over this whole Binance thing. So it frustrates me very greatly that for some reason people want to FUD Binance because, of course, if Binance goes down, it doesn't matter if you've withdrawn your Bitcoin from Binance or not. Bitcoin goes to zero. Ethereum goes to zero. All altcoins go to zero. What you're tending to see about the Binance FUD right now is it's perpetuated by Bitcoin maximalists, the toxic people that think the only cryptocurrency on earth should ever be Bitcoin. I hate these people. I think that they are brain dead. I don't think their opinion makes any sense that there should only be one cryptocurrency just because they got into it in 2011 or whatever and uh, they bought really cheap and now they're really rich off the back of it. They think that it should be the only one. No, there should be other ones. We need diversity. We need competition. That's what keeps everything strong. Um, we also know that Bitcoin as an asset has had lots of issues with regards to its community and everything like this. That's why there's many versions of Bitcoin, because they all keep falling out. That's why Bitcoin cannot, cannot be the only cryptocurrency, because its community is so toxic. Anyway, when it comes to the price of Bitcoin, I think Bitcoin probably going to have a bit, pretty decent day, to be honest, because I'm going to go down now onto the smaller time frames and show you what I expect from the smaller time frames. So, first things first, drop onto the five minute. Five minute looks pretty decent, does the five minute. A lot of trading within this range here. What I'm looking for really is a break out of this range right here, which will be approximately a break of $16,800. We break $16,800, we probably won't just wake up like we did before, but we'll probably actually break upwards and go back above $17,000. To the down Side, the levels of which we are watching are these ones right here, which will be around $16,700. We break to the downside of $16,700 again. Oh, well, pro pro. I mean, we will definitely come down and test $16,500. Uh, but at the point of $16,500, at the point where we lose $16,500, I will be in a short position by then. I'll probably scale into my short position in this gap right here. Um, I don't really want to short Bitcoin right now, but of course I will short because I like money. And uh, of course, if we're going to lose support and drop down to $15,000, I need to hedge against that massive Bitcoin stack. So yeah, there is always that to consider as well. I hope that's interesting and useful information for you guys. Of course, if you are interested in trading, check out BitGet. You'll find a link for it in today's video description. I'm currently trading most of my trades actually on BitGet. Really like the exchange platform. Recently partnered with them. Great platform. They even took me to the World Cup, which was very kind of them. Um, so yeah, check out BitGet. You'll find a link in today's video description. You get like $8,000 for free if you sign up and also $15 for just making an account on the link in today's video description. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.